morning y'all, Care with Bluebird Homestead. Today we are planting some onions. I got a couple different varieties here. I'll be going through each of them and I'll be going through how I'm planting them today. I am planting them two different ways. We're planting some in the raised beds and we're gonna be planting some in ground in some uh, fresh mounds over there. I'll put a link in the description to where I ordered these from. I ordered them from Dixondale Farms. I also started some onions from seed that are already in one of the beds next to me. So these will be in addition to that. Let me show you what the varieties are that I got. The first variety that I have is candy. When I ordered these from Dixondale Farms, they came in three different bunches. I have two sampler packs, which I'll be showing you in a second, and one of these candy. It is a sweet yellow onion. And you can see they already have quite a root system on them and some green shoots coming out of the top. Then I have two of the intermediate sampler pack. The intermediate pack that I got from Dixondale Farm has candy onions, superstar, and red candy apple, I believe is what it's called. But if I'm not 100% positive, I'll put the names on the screen or in the description if they're wrong. They say the sampler bunches have 50 to 75 onions in them. So we'll see here, once we get them opened, how many exactly we have. And here's what the other one looks like. So before I do anything, I see a couple little shoots of grass that I'm gonna pull up. We actually have some wild onions growing in the garden bed. So I'd say this is probably a good bed to plant onions if we have wild onions already growing. <laughs> Our garden bed is nice and weeded out now. Oh, I forgot one little wild onion that we had growing here. We've recently added some compost to the top of our garden bed, so I'm not gonna be adding any additional compost today. But if you hadn't, that's something you would wanna do as well. Last year was the first year that I ever used Biotome Starter or the Garden Tome, and I think it made a huge difference in all my vegetables and crops that I grew. So I definitely am hooked and I've been using it for everything that I plant. I'm just gonna be sprinkling it into the, all the soil and getting it mixed and incorporated. We are all done amending the soil now. I have mixed in the biotone starter and the garden tone all throughout. And like I mentioned, there's already compost added to the soil, so you would want to add that as well if you hadn't already done that. I think I'm going to try to separate them and have each variety be its own section. Like I said, I'm going to be planting some of these in the raised beds and some of them into the in-ground space. I kind of want to experiment with it this year and see if it really does make a difference having them be in raised beds versus just straight out into the ground. We have the red candy, superstar, and then candy. It's quite a nice stack of each here. I didn't realize quite how many onions there were, so it'll be good to get these into the ground. I'm definitely gonna be having to put a lot more into the ground space than just in the raised beds, because I think I'll run out of room here pretty quickly. But let's start with the candy onions. I plan on doing about a six inch spacing in a triangle shape pattern so that I maximize the most space. I'm 
I'm gonna use a brick just to make sure my spacing is even. Pretty self-explanatory, but roots down first. And one thing it said on the information pack that came with the onions is to make sure you don't plant them any more than an inch deep. What I mean by triangle shape is that I'm going to be planting one in the middle of where these two are here. Okay, all the onions on this side of the bed are planted. Let's move around and do the rest. is filled up with onions. We have about 50 onions in there. It's a four by six raised bed. And I think we're gonna fill this one up with half of the other two varieties. We're gonna put the rest in the in-ground space that's behind us. But I think we're gonna do half with Superstar and half with the candy red apple. First, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did over there and mix in some Biotone starter and the rest of this garden tone. This bag's almost empty, so I'm gonna have to get some more soon. I see a couple sprigs of grass and again, another wild onion. So we're gonna pull those out as well. I mean, I could eat these, but I just want the space for my bigger slicer onions. You don't have to mix the starter or fertilizer in very deep because the onions do have a fairly shallow root system. I'm thankful it's supposed to rain tomorrow. It's kind of cloudy and overcast this afternoon. So these onions will get nice and watered in and hopefully won't have too much shock to their system since they do have some greens on them already. I think they'll be just fine though. I try to pick a day where it's overcast or a little bit rainy to plant things because I just think that things do better and then I don't have to water them in either. We have the red candy apple variety. I think we're gonna do half the bed in that first. Again, I'm doing the same spacing. So let me find my brick. Now we're moving on to the next variety for the rest of the bed. later in the day now. I waited till my husband got home from work so he could play with the kids while I finished this up pretty quickly. These two beds, this one and this one, I planted earlier this morning with the onions and now flipping around for perspective. So we have, I don't want to make y'all dizzy, but for, for perspective, we have raised beds here and then in ground rows on the other side. So we're going to do the rest of them in the in-ground rows and see how they compare to the ones that are in the raised beds. Now last year when I planted onions, they kind of got choked up by weeds. So I'm hoping this year they do better. 
I could stay on top of weeding them a lot better in the raised beds than I can in the in-ground space. Now, we weren't here full-time last year. We hadn't moved yet, so we were only here about once a week uh, during the growing season where I could actually get some gardening done. So the weeds overtook most of the garden last year and onions, unfortunately, were one of the things that did not survive. So we're hoping to do better this year and stay tuned and we'll see how they do for the rest of the season. But let's go ahead and get to planting. I'm going to be using some of this Biotone starter in the in-ground space, just like I did for the raised beds. I ran out of the Garden Tone fertilizer. So I'll probably run out to the store actually sometime this week and buy some just so I have the exact same amendments in the in-ground space that I do in the raised bed so I can have a pretty consistent comparison for when it comes time to harvesting to see how they did to determine whether or not I want to do them all in raised beds next year or if I want to do them all in the in-ground space. That's one of the reasons why I started making these videos is so that I could also have a documentation just for myself to figure out what I want to do and how how things worked and how things needed changed and go from there. I'm going to do the candy variety onions first. I just found a four leaf clover in the middle of the onion row that I was planting. So fun. I have a thing about four leaf clovers. I find them everywhere I go all the time when I'm not looking. So maybe it's my red hair or maybe it's just God giving me a little blessings, but I'll take it. Okay. So I just finished planting this row and I still have a big handful left of onions and I still have an entire another bundle of onions over there. So I may end up having at least three rows in the ground and then two raised beds worth of onions. So hopefully they all survive and we'll have a year's supply of onions here, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm not 100% confident that this soil in the in-ground space is going to turn out because it's very rocky and it's not as loose and lofty as the raised beds. But fingers crossed, hopefully it works out. I just had to show you how big this one is. It's huge compared to some of these other tiny ones, but I'm still planting. Well, I just finished planting the second row and I still have a lot of onions left to plant. So I'm not sure exactly where to do it. I'm trying to decide if I should skip a row. That way bugs or disease or whatever, something starts attacking the onions, maybe it won't wipe out wipe out all of them. My other thought is, my other thought is sun. Um, I could plant something like taller in between the rows and that way I have, you know, just some differentiation in the garden, but I'm not sure. If you, if I'm doing this wrong, let me know <laughs> and I'll do it differently next year. These onions are all a little bit smaller. So I think I don't know. I might just go put them in this row here next to it. Let's get it done.
I took the time to separate out the different onion varieties in the last two rows so they were all together but they are all a jumbled mess now so it's just going to be intermixed of all the different varieties here. I would say they are primarily the red um, candy apple variety though. Okay, we have three rows of onions planted now, and I still have onions left. <laughs> I calculated how many onions we would need for a supply for a whole year, but I didn't really think about how much space it would take up. I definitely need to do better about planning out where the rest of the garden's gonna go for the rest of the year, and how much room I need my husband to prepare. Next video is gonna be tilling up the garden. <laughs> Maybe, I'm not sure if it's gonna be the next video, but it'll definitely be an upcoming video because I think we need more space. Well, I have quite a few more left in here. So I think I'm gonna do maybe half of a fourth row. These are all the smallest ones. I kind of picked out the biggest ones first. So we'll see how far this takes us. Might be an entire another fourth row. I'm not sure. You guys hear the coyotes? I'm not sure if the mic's gonna pick it up or not, but there's some coyotes over the hilltop there in the woods. With that, we're finally done. That was way more than I thought it would be. We have one, two, three, and almost an entire another fourth row of onions, plus two and a half raised beds, because there are some that I started from seed that I planted out already. We're gonna have a lot of onions. <laughs> Hopefully they all come up, and I'm excited. I mean, I wanted enough that would last us all year, and enough that we could probably share with family and friends too. So. Yeah, stay tuned to see how they grow. Uh, subscribe if you want to follow along, and I'll be giving updates as they grow. Bye, y'all.